Let's see how we would use hands-on equations for the interactive whiteboard to illustrate the solution to lesson number 11. So we go here to level 2 and we click on lesson number 11. We have two x's equal to star plus 6. Now we just need to understand that since the blue pawn and the white pawn are opposites of each other, removing one from each side would not be a legal move. I must remove the same value from each side for that move to be legal, but these are opposites. So we really need a new legal move. We notice that we have the six cube on this side and that this white pawn is in the way. So in lesson number 11, we learn that if we add a blue pawn to each side, that that would be a new legal move. This is the addition property of equality. And notice the value of that. By adding a blue pawn to each side, we end up with a blue pawn and a white pawn on the right side. And these are a pair of opposites, so they're worth, so I can remove them, they're worth zero. I now have three blue pawns worth six, which means that each blue pawn or x is worth two. Since star is the opposite of x and x is two, star would be a negative two. And to do the check, we go back to the original physical setup, 2x equals star plus 6. And if x is 2, on this side I have 2 and 2 is 4. And on the right side, since star is a negative 2, I have 6, lose 2, which is also 4. And so since both sides have a value of 4, we see that x equals 2 and star equals negative 2 is the solution. So again, in lesson number 11, we learn that we can add a blue pawn to each side to solve this example. How did we know what color pawn to use? Well, since we needed to eliminate the white pawn, we wanted to add the opposite color to that side, which would be a blue. But if we're going to add a blue to one side, we needed to add a blue to the other side. Let's look at our summary note. We may add the same colored pawn to each side of a balanced system without affecting the balance. In performing this legal move, we use both hands simultaneously. So this then illustrates the solution to lesson 11 using the hands-on equations for the interactive whiteboard.